I used the first Volt to its capacity at all times. After COVID hit and everything kind of got shut down, uh, I was working on a really big job for a firefighter that passed away from COVID. And it was a really complex print that had fire trucks on the back and it had a bunch of really high detail graphics. So I was basically, the funny thing was, is I used to have a lawn chair and I used to put the lawn chair next to the Volt. I used to load the shirts, 10 shirts on, and I used to hit go, and I used to sit in a lawn chair and put my feet up. And the machine would spin, and then it was done, and i take the 10 pieces off. So anyway, the, the, the job was, the outpouring for the job was so massive because this firefighter died from COVID, and he was really well known in this community. So when we put the store together to raise money for his family, we never realized it was gonna be the magnitude of what it was. You know, we thought it was maybe 100 shirts. It was like, eight, nine hundred shirts, right? So one Saturday I was in the other shop and I was sitting there in my lawn chair and I'm like, I'm, I, something was just like gnawing at me because I'm like, I'm just sitting here. Like I could be doing, I could be printing the left chest. Like I still have to spin all these backs and then I have to go and print the fronts. I'm like, uh, I guess I could print them on the manual. By that time I was so like into automation that I was like, yeah, man, I'm not going over there printing my hand. So I called my sales guy from Anatol. I was like, look, I have an idea. I want to buy another Volt. He's like, Matt, you're a one man shop. Why do you need another Volt? So I said to him, I said, look, dude, I'm here for eight hours today. I'm watching the machine spin these amazing looking shirts. You know, and I was taking pictures while I was talking to him. And he said, if, if he was here, he would tell you that I convinced him to sell me another Volt. He, wasn't, he was not on board with giving me another Volt. He felt as a one-man shop, as a one-man owner-operator, one Volt was enough. And then basically I showed him what the idea was. So we, have, we, we are printing fronts and backs now at the same time. Now we're printing fronts, backs, and sleeves at the same time. So if we're doing a job that has a lot of you know, artwork detail, we're not losing any time. We're not losing any difference between, you know, hey, we have to wait for this machine to be done, break it all down, set up the other one and get going. You know, some people are very strict on their time consumption. Me, I'm super, super strict on my time consumption. So I'm like, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to get the most out of the time that I'm at work. Is buying another Volt excessive? Some people think it is. To me, to just spin one side of the shirts and the, the item, you got to remember, the item is not complete until the other side is printed. Well, why can't I be spinning two at the same time? And because I have been with Anatol for eight years with my first Volt, it's a no brainer. You know, why, why print? You know, people, people think because you're only one person, you should only have one toy. It's like, no, you have in your toolbox, you just don't have a screwdriver. You have a screwdriver, you have a hammer, you have all that cool stuff. Wrenches, same thing. I have screwdriver, I have a hammer, I have wrenches, and I use them to do my jobs.